Hi everyone in YouTube world. I am coming to you guys from my guest room and I have the dolls all decked out in their summer best and some of them will be in their summer outfits and others will not. I think I need to pause and get um, my Felicity dolls. So hold on for one second. Okay, thanks for hanging in there with me, guys. Um, I ended up getting Felicity, and so I didn't want to do the video without Felicity since this is supposed to be a summer video of what my dolls are wearing. So even though I don't have exactly all the summer sets or all the summer outfits for my Pleasant Company and American Girl dolls, I still wanted to show you guys um, what I do have and unfortunately I don't have Felicity's summer outfit. Um, I do have a couple of other things I wanted to show you guys so looking at the catalog it looks like I do have um, the American Girls catalog from when they debuted their American Girls collection for the summer stories. Um, so it goes all the way up to Josefina. Starts with Felicity, Kirsten, Samantha, um, Molly, Addie, and back to Josefina. So Felicity wasn't a part of the original three dolls that debuted for Pleasant Company, but uh, Felicity was a bestseller when it came to American Girl, as well as, I guess, Pleasant Company. You can see here that um, there's like a little write-up when it comes to Felicity's story. This was her outfit. And the outfit is a little interesting because even though I don't have Felicity's outfit. The concept of the outfit was recycled for, I believe, Caroline Abbott's dress. And her dress was just pink. And it had a couple of other features on it that were very similar to Felicity's summer outfit. This is similar to the Felicity that I have. Um, she looks like she is the first edition Felicity for Pleasant Company. And I don't believe I have the first edition. Um, I have the Felicity that came with, um, mm, I want to say her book. It, it is a hardcover book, but it was definitely not the first run of the book. I think it was the second run of the Felicity books when they had the strip on the end and I'll show you guys what I mean but I did get Felicity's Be Forever outfit and so Felicity's Be Forever outfit is the kind of secondary outfit that I always have her in. I usually have her in her meat outfit which again was the only outfit for many years that I had for her a doll like Felicity's collection because I recently got Felicity secondhand. So um, she came with her outfit. And so I was really happy about that, that I didn't have to track down her outfit. But again, her meat outfit and this outfit as well as the Be Forever undergarments and accessories and her meat accessories are the only things that I have for Felicity. And I also have her doll. Um, I also have a bunch of uh, pins from her storybook collection. So that is Felicity's summer outfit. And I'll show you guys this version um, that talks about Felicity Saves the Day as being the book that features her summer story. Okay, so the second doll that they debut for the summer outfit is Josefina, and Josefina's hat is tipped to the side. Here's a little write-up of Josefina's summer story, 
You can see her summer book is Josefina Saves the Day, and she comes with a whole bunch of accessories. And so if you look here, this is, I'm sorry, I should probably keep it like this, but um, this is the first edition, I guess, Josefina that they're showing here with the first edition book. Um, she has her boots that you had to buy separately from the outfit. Um, the outfit came with a vest and a hat that, again, she tips to the side. So with my Josefina, I have two, but only one summer outfit. So this Josefina, the first edition gets to wear the summer outfit this year. My other Josefina, who's over here, wore it last year. And I styled her hair a little differently. Sometimes people are interested in how the hair looks. And she has the wig that is a little drier at the ends with the textured hair. So... That's how her hair looks as Felicity is about to fall. So I, I need to move her out the way. Okay, so let me see if I can get Josefina back. Okay, so this is her hat. And the hat is nice. I usually keep it in storage along with my Josefina. I usually keep the pin on her sleeve just because I didn't want any holes in her outfit and um, her hat is actually um, on her back she has the string kind of hanging around her neck and the hat is just kind of hanging on off of her back and she has her shawl in this photo so I was thinking with this Josefina I needed to display her with not only her her boots and these are the the boots but I also wanted to display her with um, her shawl however in this picture she's not displayed with the shawl and I believe that in the stores she wasn't displayed wearing the shawl as well Okay, so this is her summer story, which has the outfit. And the reason that I'm doing the, the summer uh, clothing this year this way is because I just recently got Molly's summer camp outfit. So I'm really, really excited that um, I'm getting my hands on a lot of these summer outfits so, like I said, um, since Felicity was a secondhand doll, oops, um, I didn't really get a chance to um, buy for her. I never really thought I would ever own a Felicity, but she was a really good deal um, when I bought her secondhand. So, there you have it. Um, I can't really say no to a doll especially a doll that's in pretty good condition. All right, so I have a couple more dolls to look at, but I'm gonna see how the lineup is uh, in the catalog, and then I'll show you how they look in their summer outfits. Next up is Kirsten, and this is Kirsten's little write-up of her summer story. And you can see that this is her hat. They have her hair pulled back, so she's not wearing the classic uh, Kirsten braids that are looped like she normally does. She's usually featured that way. And um, this is her meet, um, her Kirsten Saves the Day summer story. She has, I believe, her original socks on. Her um, pantalettes you can see underneath the dress. I love how this dress doesn't wrinkle in the photo. And the dress also looks more gray 
um, than it does in reality. And so she also has the red boots in this photo as well. Um, and she also is featured here with her fishing accessories, which comes with her summer set. So if you look at my Kirsten, um, I try my best to put the hat in storage and try to lay it flat, but it always seems to kind of curve a little bit over the years. I also like to feature that her hat has berries on it. Um, you can't really tell because the berries are in back in this photo, but I'm gonna see if the write-up talks about the hat at all being, yeah. It says, with a black ribbon and trimmed with a bunch of bright cherries. So uh, I believe that cherries are actually in Kirsten's summer story. And so my Kirsten, she's always going to have her braids. I got a new head for her a couple years ago. She's an older Pleasant Company Kirsten with an American Girl head. She still looks different from um, the 35th anniversary Kirsten. But um, I love the illustration that goes with Kirsten's Saves the Day story. And you can't tell, but in the illustration, there's like a little bear cub hiding in the berry bushes. And I always like to have my dolls, no matter what time of year it is, with their dolls. So she's got her Surrey there. And just for fun, I always like to feature my youngest uh, bear collection. He has a whole bunch of bears. So these are just a few black uh, stuffed bears that we ended up buying for my youngest uh, son. And we had an educator friend come to the house and she asked me if I had any like uh, animal stuffed animals. And so I brought out some of these bears and she was like, do you have any bears that don't have bows, uh, or ornamental bows on them? And I thought, no, I don't. And so her thing was that because she was an educator, she said that, uh, parents of young children should buy stuffed animals that simulate, um, real animals that like real animals don't wear bows around their neck. So she was saying that these bears aren't politically correct. And I thought that was kind of funny that uh, she made a big thing about it, that I should actually have um, animals that again, look like the animals that are at the zoo, like a black bear that looked similar to a black bear that you would see in a cage at the zoo because there's no way we would want to go camping and actually see a black bear just for educational purposes by the way i'm not one of those people that needs to see a black bear in real life um except at the zoo <laughs> so um anyway i always like to pair this kind of stuff with kirsten um because of her story like i don't have any of the summer accessories for Kirsten. So again, it's whatever I see that reminds me of Kirsten's story um, that I like to have around Kirsten. So anytime that I put Kirsten out for her summer story, I always try to make sure I have some black bears and this little cute um, honey pot that I don't really use for honey. I usually just use it for display. But if you look, these are the coveted items for Kirsten's summer story that are now retired. So it's very similar to a lot of things that Pleasant Company, AKA American Girl once made that is now retired. Like Kirsten's 4th of July fun I would have loved to have. Her fishing set might have been the last thing I would have bought on the list but I definitely would have loved to have Kirsten's honey pot and that coveted flag that represented America 
back in the mid 1800s. So um, that is cured. Oh, and definitely the bird whistle. You see that? So similar to Addie and uh, Molly and Samantha, it would have been so nice to have had their summer uh, necklaces or summer um, accessories, the things that they had around their neck that went along with their sets. And uh, another funny thing is that when I'm reading to my son, I used to love to read these books every week to him when he was uh, born, when he was just a baby and when he was a toddler. Now he's kind of at that toddler preschool age where he only wants the teachers now to read to him pretty much. But I used to always love reading Blueberries for Sal, which features, you know, a bear in uh, Blueberries for Sal, which always reminds me of Kirsten's experience. And we're going on a bear hunt. So those are the, the things that always remind me of the special times that I had with my son um, that kind of bring me back to Kirsten's story. So I thought, why not throw that in the video as well? Um, some of the fun books that I enjoyed uh, reading with Kirsten's story. So that's Kirsten. Next up is Addie's summer story. So you can see how Addie has the bow in front for her hat. And I'm noticing that all of the dolls' summer stories come with a hat. And that makes sense because it gets so hot in the summer. And, you know, there was no AC back in history. <laughs> I guess if, unless you're counting the 1970s and 80s. Um, but anyway, um, that is nor here nor there. Um, this is Addie's story, Addie Saves the Day. And I would love to get my hands on Addie Saves the Day. For some reason, I can't seem to uh, find the book. I have the new version of Addie Saves the Day or the more recent version of it. But um, I would love to see if I can eventually get Addie Saves the Day again. And this was Addie's summer story when it debuted. So this was the original... Um, the original artwork for Addie Saves the Day. There's her puppet show fun. And if you pause, you see the church fair fun and the garden gardening supplies. So it's not puppet show fun. I guess I just made that up. Um, so anyway, let me show you. This is one of my Addies. And I'll show you the outfit and how it looks on Addie. Okay, so if I turn around and I show the dolls that are on display, it's Samantha and then it's Addie. So here Addie is in her outfit, her coveted outfit. And I actually have the, the shoes for her. If you can look down there, you can see the shoes. And this was my original 1993 yeah, original 1993 Addie that um, my dad and I found secondhand. So we both share this Addie. And he's being generous. He's never asked for her back. <laughs> so I would love to say that this is my Addie, but I do share this Addie. Since um, my dad is really good about finding like old antique things. So... Every now and then he'll find like an American girl or a Pleasant Company doll and he'll ask me, you know, what I think. Um, so he knows that I'm a big collector. And this was the book that I was talking about for my Felicity doll. So this was from her era. Um, so she's definitely not the first run. See how it has that strip. And then um, I was thinking the same thing with this Meet Samantha book when I saw this in the used bookstore. I purchased it because it was in like really good condition. And I saw that it had that burgundy strip. So I don't have a doll from that time period. Um, this doll came with the newer version of the book when Nellie came out. So it's similar to Nellie's book. But uh, this book actually came out 
prior to Nelly. And you can see that I do have the Samantha Saves the Day book along with Samantha, the doll Samantha. So um, those are the two summer dolls. And because Samantha is second to last in the lineup, um, this is how she was debuted. And you can see her summer accessory. She came with like a little, or her summer accessories came with a whistle. Uh, she has a Tam O'Shanter. I don't know if this is called a Tam O'Shanter if it's with this outfit. Uh, and then the boots, I think you have to buy separately. But this is her summer story collection along again with the book. This was the, the first edition of Samantha Saves the Day, which is the one that I have. And um, she even came with a magnifying glass. Look how cute in the daisies. <laughs> so I try so hard. I Oh, look at the daisies. They're kind of similar to the ones on the bike. Okay, uh, they're kind of similar, not quite. I was thinking that... The bow was more of the same ribbon that was used for Addie's hat, but it's a pink ribbon. And I think her original ribbon for the daisies was a gingham, black and white, again, similar to Addie's. So since I don't have a whole lot of stuff for Samantha's summer story, I did uh, feature her with the pin. Uh, same thing with Addie. She has the Addie Saves the Day pin attached to her waist. And again, the book, Samantha Saves the Day. And since I don't have Addie Saves the Day book, uh, I only have her current version. But again, the current version is uh, gone. Well, it's in storage.